Woohoo! It's the weekend. So you guys know what that means. I have a new book to share with you guys. So the title of this book is called Out of My Mind and the author is Sharon Draper. So this book is about 11-year-old Melody who goes through great difficulties through her life. And this book is also very very touching and so emotional. So just a warning, this is a mascara alert. And just stay tuned because I have some amazing things to share with you guys which happen in this book. A thing we know. Thanks for tuning back in guys. So this book is about 11 year old Melody and she has cerebral palsy. So that means that she can't talk and she can't walk and she can't even write. And this is just, and Melody just goes through so many great difficulties through her life. But one day, Melody's tutor, and her name is Catherine, she finds out about this communication device which will allow Melody to speak for the very first time. And once Melody gets this device, she's just so happy to open it up. And once she does, her parents are also there with her. And she says the first sentence ever in her 11 years. And her first sentence is, I love you. And she says this to her parents. And it just brings tears into my eyes because it was her first sentence that she has said in her 11 years. And after Melody got this device, um, her life has completely changed because she can finally start up a conversation and can express her feelings and thoughts and emotions. So one day in school, um, Melody finds out that the school is starting this event and it's called the Whiz Kids Competition. So this competition is going to take place in Washington, D.C. and it's also going to be on live television. And Melody is really, really excited and she's also very happy that she can actually be part of this event and her communi communication device can help her. So um, on the day where Melody and her team had to go fly to Washington, D.C., um, it turns out that the rest of Melody's team had gone to breakfast together and had excluded Melody. And that was very, very rude because I know just because Melody has cerebral palsy doesn't mean she has to be excluded on such exciting events. So Melody, um, rest of the team, they actually um, finished their breakfast earlier than planned. So they just decided to head to the airport earlier. And once they reached, they found out that all the other um, flights were canceled to go to Washington DC because it turned out that there was five inches of snow there. But one of the planes were boarding the time they went. So they rushed to, um, to the plane and it turns out that they, had, they got to board. And they didn't even think about calling Melody to tell her that they had left her behind. And Melody, once she went to the airport with her family and her other tutor, Catherine and Mrs. V, another character in the book, they were all so excited for Melody because she got to attend this amazing event. But once they reached, Melody found out everything. And her mind, she was so, so surprised that her team would do such a thing for her. And once the competition was over and when the rest of the team had come back, Melody was like, I need to go to school and tell my team how like mad I am. And that's in fact what she did. At school, she stomped up to them and she told them how mad she was. But, um, and also if Melody is like the smartest kid in the school, but none of the teachers and kids know this because like I said, she never, um, even like talked a single bit or expressed her feelings. And if Melody went to that competition with the team, they would have definitely won the first prize. So once Melody's team comes back, Melody finds out that her team had won ninth place. And like I said, if Melody had gone to attend the competition with her team, they would have definitely won the first prize because Melody has this like photographic memory that whatever or anything that happens around her that she sees, that she hears and listens, it's all stored in her mind. Just 
and just like a like a camera and she can never forget it so after reading this book my perception of like the disability kids has changed so much i would do anything to go help them and because you know i never knew that the kids with disabilities could go through such great difficulties just like melody did in this story and if you guys have like um, if you guys get a chance to read this book, which I highly recommend, um, please comment down below and tell me what you thought of this book. And I'll be very, very happy to hear back from you. And also, if you have any other books that you would like to recommend for me to book to review, please comment those books down below and I would definitely check them and maybe review some of your um, ideas. So, like I always say, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below on what you guys think of my book reviews. And like my videos and share with your friends. Bye guys, have a good weekend.